What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. Today we're gonna to talk about what to do if you accidentally point your IP address to the wrong IP address when you're launching your new site or you're launching a website and you accidentally go live early and you need to revert back to your old IP address but you didn't take a screenshot and you don't know the old IP address for the A record. I'm gonna show you a trick because believe it or not, out of like 200 or 300 or 400 websites, something like that that I've launched in my career, this has only happened to me once, but it has happened to me. So I thought it's a relevant data-driven daily tip because if you accidentally bring your client's website down when you're pointing the A record or you accidentally go live too early and you need to go back to their old site or maybe an even more likely scenario is that you need to go get uh, access to their old site so that they have access to it and you need to set it up on a different URL for them so that they have access to it. You need the old IP address to do that, right? So when you're, uh, for those of you who are listening on the podcast, you're gonna be able to follow along fine, but if you're looking at my screen right now, you'll see that I've got just a basic DNS management screen open here, and let's say I've pointed to the new IP address for my A record and I need to change it back to the old one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a tool called securitytrails.com. Securitytrails.com is an amazing tool, and what you can do right here is you can do something like uh, type in the name of a website that maybe you just launched and now this website is at this .34 URL, but you need to go back and you need to see what was the old URL and it was right here at GoDaddy 198.71.233.135. So you've got the new um, IP at WP Engine. You type in the old URL if you need to go back and get access to the old website. Just for example, securitytrails.com is a great way to do that. Thank you to securitytrails.com for being a great tool. They actually saved my butt last week uh, when I made a mistake on a client's website in the middle of the night. Luckily, nobody saw it and I was able to bring their website back up. So no worries there. We are good to go thanks to securitytrails.com. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this has been a useful data-driven daily tip for you. For more free digital marketing and web design tips, go to dataoveropinions.com and uh, would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to the podcast. Go to datadrivenpodcast.com to check out more information on that. And then, of course, the Alexa flash briefing you can get, add to your Alexa-enabled devices by going to datadrivendaily.com and just click the Enable button. And um, if you want to step up your digital marketing game, check out datadrivenacademy.org. That's where you can get free uh, access to our experts. It's actually not free access to our experts, but it's almost free access. It's basically a value that you will think is free because it's less than $80 a month. And what you get is live access to our experts at least once a month, answering your digital marketing and web design questions for you. It's a super, super low cost for getting professional help, customized professional help for you, as well as lessons that you can take with you at all times. And did you know now you can actually ask Alexa how your web traffic is doing? Check out AskDataDrivenDesign.com. No more needing to log into Google Analytics. You can just ask Alexa how your web traffic is doing. Go to AskDataDrivenDesign.com for your free trial today, my friends. I'm Paul Hickey. Thanks and have a great day.